Hi, I'm Scott. Welcome to part four of my cool season lawn. Today we're going to talk about fertilizers on Dad It Yourself. Hey, good morning. How's everybody doing here? So, part four of the cool season lawn grass. Uh, I'm about six weeks behind on this one. Uh, its original intention was so that you did it one step after the other over the course of maybe one or two weeks or even, you know, a long weekend. Um, unfortunately, you know, job got in the way and stuff like that. So, like I said, I'm a couple of weeks behind. But not a big deal. Uh, our weather's not too bad up here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, a hot day is 80 degrees, but my soil temperatures really haven't gotten more over probably in the low 70s. Uh, my lawn, I'll kind of turn around so you can see it. It's right there. Just mowed it maybe two days ago. Uh, it looks dry, but it's not dry. This is hungry lawn. Uh, this lawn is mowed probably, or excuse me, watered uh, two or three times a day for about six minutes per zone. So it gets plenty of water, and actually in some places, I think maybe over here in this side, down here, it actually may be a little squishy if we go over there. Uh, my backyard looks a little bit worse for wear. Uh, get the gate here. It uh, gets a little more sun. So you can see right there. Again, this is mostly hungry lawn. So what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about fertilizer, we're going to talk about iron supplements, and we're going to talk about humic acid and how those three things work together to give you a great looking lawn. Let's get started. All right, for the first application today, I'm going to be using this Scott's Triple Action. This has a nitrogen-based fertilizer in it. Uh, like a turf builder. It has a weed control agent in it, like a weed and feed. Uh, so it handles the crab grasses, the broad leaves, the dandelions, and stuff like that. And then it has a pre-emergent in it to stop any seeds from germinating, either weed seeds or any seed for that matter. So the key to using the triple action with the pre-emergent is if you're planning on doing an overseed, say in the next six to eight weeks, you do not want to use this product. You just want to use a weed and feed or just a straight lawn food or lawn fertilizer. But because I'm not doing any overseeding until the fall, which is still another eight to 10 weeks from now, I can use this and then when I overseed in the fall, I'll use a standard weed and feed or a lawn fertilizer. So let's go ahead and apply this using this Scott's Broadcast Spreader, uh, following the directions on the bag for the application, which is about four and a half. All right, so my next step today is I'm gonna add iron to the lawn. And what iron does, it makes a light green or yellowish lawn greener. This will not take a dead lawn and turn it green. It just makes a greener lawn greener. Awesome part about this is you can't overuse this, underuse this, it won't burn your lawn. You just apply it per the instructions and it just works. Um, this comes in a liquid version, also a hose end or a concentrate that you can mix. Uh, I'm going to use the dry with the spreader following the directions again.
right, next application. Humic acid, fluvic acid, root hume, all the same things. This is a supplement for your lawn that will help it absorb the nutrients you put down. So those nitrogens, those irons, or any other supplement um, makes it more efficient and you get more bang for your buck. I'm gonna use the sprayer. You can use a hose end for this as well. Um, I have a 2,500 square foot lawn. So this is two, two and a half gallons of water with nine ounces of concentrate in it. Uh, there's plenty here. This is gonna last me a couple of seasons. So let's go ahead and get started with this now. So one thing you want to remember is this stuff is highly concentrated and it will stain concrete. So be careful around your sidewalks, driveways, foundations, lawn furniture, or, penny, or any painted surfaces around your home if you don't want to stain those. Let's get started. So that's all the treatments I have for today. Uh, the humic acid requires to be watered in for 20 minutes, so I'm gonna turn my sprinklers on manually, let those run, and then put them back on their regular cycle, which is three times a day for six minutes at 7 a.m., 1 p.m., and 7 p.m., seven days a week. So the sprinklers are doing a really good job of watering in the fertilizer, the iron, and the humic acid. And I'm gonna continue doing that three times a day for the next week. All right, everybody, so here we are a week later. And I can already see a significant difference. It ain't perfectly green, but it is probably, I'd say 25% to 50% better. I'll go ahead and put a before and after picture right there on the screen for you so you can get an idea what the difference is. But I am super happy with this right now. I've got another probably two weeks until the rest of these brown spots are gone. Some more watering. We've had some weird um, weather this week. Uh, hot for us in the 70s, uh, almost to 75. And then we had two mornings where it actually rained so rain's good, heat is bad, so I have a little bit of heat stress, and because I was a little late on my fertilizer this year, um, the lawn wasn't able to adjust as accordingly, but oh, check out those stripes, huh? That looks great. So my four-part lawn series isn't supposed to get you to the level of a golf course, but it's for the average guy who has access to average materials from the local home center. If you follow my four-part series, You'll have a nice looking lawn in just a couple of weeks. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right there. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.